A senior advocate of Nigeria, Paul Ananaba, says Ngwa people will hold public office holders accountable for their policies and performances. He said for some time, Ngualand has lacked a central point of convergence where the people can analyze and hail critical decisions. Ananaba said the Ngwa Social Club, of which he is the president, decided to build a town hall in Aba where people can be rallied to make their voices heard on leadership and national issues. Speaking in Lagos at the Five billion naira launch and fundraising for the acquisition of land and building of Ovungwa. The senior advocate of Nigeria said the project will also create jobs. We can call our people, particularly those in politics, to account. We can have vision, yearly vision, for the development of Ungwa land and the Abia state and Nigeria. That is what we are going for. Having a museum where we can have the artifacts from Ngualand, the history, the culture, and um, all the things that go with that. Even across West Africa, people still remember Aba made. It is the technology of the Ngwa people, the Aba people, and people, settlers who came to join us. So, um, it cannot be overemphasized, the significance of developing Ngualand and Aba. And that's why you see this of is now going to be built in Aba. And it is in this place that we will articulate all our contributions to Nigeria, Africa and the world. Anywhere in this country there's an entertainment center or something built to benefit the entertainment industry, I'm there. Because the entertainment industry will become the biggest money maker for Nigeria. At the moment, it is the biggest whitewasher of Nigeria. All the crookedness, all the political problems are being whitewashed by us, the artists and Nollywood. And I think we are worthy ambassadors worldwide. So when I was invited, it doesn't matter if it is Igbo, Yoruba House,